ओके सो वन ऑफ यू प्लीज गिव द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ई सी सी ई ई डबल सी ई हु कैन से फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ई सी सी ई early Anybody? childhood care and education early childhood care and education very good so what is the status of ecc in our country as well as in our state what is the status of ecc in our country or in our state yes anybody what is the status anybody can give your response what is the status of ecc in our country as well as in our state can i ask by name sir i don't know sir okay ha oh, anisha please again repeat repeat sir i don't know don't know anybody ओके, डू यू नो अंगनवाड़ी सेंटर यस यस, कैन यू से इन अंगनवाड़ी सेंटर ऑफ एवरी विलेज द चिल्ड्रेन आर लर्निंग एंड व्हाट इज द एज ऑफ दो चिल्ड्रेन हु आर गोइंग टू अंगनवाड़ी सेंटर्स व्हाट इज द एज Yes. Three to six, sir. Very good. Three to six years. Three to six. Six. No, no, no. Eight, no. Eight is wrong. Three to six years. Six. So, dear learners, I want to share one thing to you all. Yes. Anybody? Yes. Yes. Complete. Anisha, do you want to uh, say yes. something? Yes. No, sir. okay so you remember after 86th amendment of our constitution article 45 was before 86th amendment in the year 2002 article 45 said free and compulsory primary education for the children of 6 to 14 years okay but after 86th amendment in the year 2002 it became the fundamental right and inserted in article 21a now article 21a says free and compulsory primary education to the children of our country belongs to the age of 6 to 14 but after this article 45 is lying vacant today can you say when the same thing was shifted to article 21a now article 45 is lying vacant anybody is article 45 is lying vacant or what does article 45 says now what does article 45 says now remember article 45 says now early childhood care and education about early childhood care and education so india is a welfare state and article 45 is come under dpsp directive principle of state policy so now after 86th amendment article 45 says about ecce early childhood care and education so every anganwadi centers balwadis for government these are the government organizations those are running in different villages very close to the primary school 
or separate uh, special center in the village and functioning to offer pre-primary education to the children of that village from the age of three to six years. Now, a very important information I will give to you all. Do you know what is NEP 2020? Can you say about NEP 2020? NEP 2020 Vishare Suni Chaki. Yes, National Education. Yes. National Education Policy 2020. That is known as NEP 2020. So in NEP 2020, focus is given on ECCE, early childhood care and education. Can you say? Why focus is given on early childhood care and education? Can you say? Yes. This is the basic uh, stage of uh, uh, of a child. So government want okay, to provide good. quality education to basic stage. Okay. Very good. Anybody? Anisha gave her opinion. And you all? Please share your opinions. Anybody? Nobody has no idea to say a single sentence. If you are not comfortable in English, then you can share your views in Odia. No problem. No issue. You can say in Odia. Use your mother tongue. Yes? Pujarani, Pujarani Beura. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, what is your view? What is your view? Why NEP 2020 has given focus on ECC? Want to Nije Babucho to me, the quote, eighty by ECC, the Chikoi, but in your perception, no problem. Go. Yes. Okay. Nobody is ready to share your opinions. So, dear learners, I am your teacher is here and all are your friends. So, our discussion is within us. There is no hesitation. There is no shyness. How can you become the teacher? How can you become the very caretaker of your the children after obtaining this degree when you appoint or recruit in different educational institutions which are offering preschool education, how can you perform your duties? So this is a platform to share our views. Okay. So don't be hesitate. You may share your views and opinions. No problem. Okay. So you listen. So number of research studies throughout the world who find 85 and more than that percentage of brain development is possible between the age of 5 and 6. The first 6 years of the child is very important. The first 6 years of the child is very important. You know, the first 6 years of the child, first means from birth to age 6, it is very important. Why? Now, 85 percent and more than that of a brain development is possible during this period. Do you note it? Research studies find findings stated the important period is this period. Infancy period and early childhood period is very important. So during this period, caring of children is very important. Therefore, our national government decided to take care of our children our the pre-primary students, the children belongs to the age group of within six and taking care of them properly so that we can help for the brain development of those children. Therefore, in our NEP 2020, 
this pre-primary education include with the school education. So this period is known as now foundational stage. Foundational stage starts from age three. At age three, the child enters into the class that is known as preschool one. Remember it, it is preschool one. At the age of child, at age of four, the child enters into preschool two. At the age of five, preschool three and continues as, at the age of, uh, till the age of six. At the age of six, enter into standard one or class one. At the age of seven, enters into class two and continues till the age of 18. So three years to 18 years is the period of foundational stage. It includes preschool one, preschool two, preschool three, class one and class two, five years. So this period is very important period of a child. So our national government decided to include it in the education, educa school, uh, government schools, school education, and the children are taken up during this foundational stage very carefully so that they became the powerful citizen of the country. They can become creative. They can become good scientist. They can become good administrator, good political politician, good teacher, good lawyer, everything. They can become good farmers. They can become good businessmen. They can become, they, they can do better in their profession and occupation in their future career. So that it is very important. It is remember it. Why, what is the status of ECC in our country and state? And why NEP 2020 gave focus on ECCE? This is the only reason because brain development is very important. This is the period more percentage of brain development can be possible so that proper care must be taken up. Okay. So now let us discuss with the holistic nature of child development. As per NP 1986 or NP 1986 advocated the holistic nature of child development. Holistic nature means what? Nutrition development in the nutrition so physically the child should remain fit another is the health if a healthy mind a healthy mind can improve in a healthy body so this is very important social mental physical moral emotional development these are the different focal areas these areas are the very important for the bringing holistic development of the child it is said in the document National Police on Education 1986. But how and why we can take care of the children as per National Police, National Education Policy 2020 that I told you just recently, I explained you why we have taken care of the children in the foundational stage. Okay. So this period is a child oriented period. So child should give optimum scope and opportunity freedom to express his views and opinions and they have to actively participate in different programs different organizations so they should free from control they should not be punished neither physically or mental so they are enjoy utmost freedom therefore they can freely develop their mind thinking power and they can decide what to do and what should not be so it is very important. Okay. Another thing is protection, food and health care. It is very important. It is another important factor that protection, food and health care is very important. So who will taking care of it? Who will taking care of it? In related to protection, food and health care, who is responsible? Yes. Anybody? Mothers. Parents. Mother. Mother. Yes, sir. Parents. Very good. Yes. How? Mothers? Mother. 
Yes. Only mother, nobody else. Mother, 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 Yes, what shall I do? Parents are uneducated. In that context? Uneducated parents also knows uh, how how to feed their children. What is the nutrient food? So, it is our duty as a school teacher or the uh, preschool teacher, we have to make hour of them. We have to make hour of them. Okay? I am in a class. So, protection means the child should be protected all sorts of barriers. Uh, suppose the child will fall down and the brain will come under certain um, injury, may be external or internal injury. So the child may be going to MR or any type of disable. So child protection is very important. That doesn't mean that we cannot give them freedom to work, play and so we have to give but care should be taken because this is the tender age of the life. Food. Food should be balanced food and nutrition foods. Today I told my beard students what food they have to enjoy and what type of drinking they have to enjoy and what is the quantity of water they should drink every day. So during this stage, we have to discuss about the, our students. Why? Now we also we are not aware that what is the quantity of water we should drink every day? What type of food we have to enjoy? Avoiding our um, very uh, healthy food, we are run behind fast food, oily food. Okay, so these are the, our habits. So our children should not be habituated with the, all these. Uh, all these. So as a parents, as a teacher, as a counselor, we should be careful first. Then we should make careful. Then we make the hour of the parents also not to take care of their children feeding such type of foods. Then health care. So we should be we should we should not neglect our children in health issues. Any health issue is there, so immediately we should consult with the physicians and take care of the children so that the children cannot suffer from any permanent disabilities or permanent disease. So these are the very important functions and duties of the parents as well as the teachers in the preschool set setup. So another thing is educating the mother and other caregivers. Not only mother is taking care, but also certain caregivers are there. Who are the caregivers? Now most of the mothers are the working ladies. They left the home to attend the office at 9 or 9.30 or before that and reach the uh, house after 5 or 5 or after 5 p.m. So taking care of the child the long period is very important. So the caregivers who are taking care of the children at home, they should be aware, they should be conscious, they should be educated, they should be trained how to take care of the children during the absence of the mother. So it is very important. So in which area they should be trained up? Now you, 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 you share your views. In which area we give them training? The mother as well, as well as the caretaker. In which area we should give them training? Now, share your opinion. Yes. Yes. Who three tango am training dawa? Tomme na sabu diploma course re join kori choti. Arey with interest, bhala mane positive interest attitude nee ki tamme join kori chena na same thi khali join kori jaicho. Huh? Tell me. 
पा मान कौन जत्न नापे तालीम दबा से कथा गुड़ाक तुम कि जापार जहा भाव कह ट्रेनिंग इज एसेंशियल हम्म ट्रेनिंग इज एसेंशियल फॉर दी मदर एंड अदर केयर गिवर्स फॉर केयरिंग ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन आदित्य पंडा आदित्य पंडा यस सर ड्रिंक सोनी कुमारी नाउ सोनी कुमारी यू टेल सर लम्बो दर लम्बो दर तंगो खाद्य तो तंग खाद्य खुएबा सही तो तंगो देहर जत्न नेबा तंगो ब्रेन डेवलप पाई कोनो तंगो मजाडिया खेलो मजाडिया प्रोसेस रे तंगो डांस से खेबा कोन छोट पिला मन को मजा मन लागियो पाठ पढिया पे आगे सर तंगो आगे मजाडिया जिंस देखियो दरकार ओके ओके वेरी गुड देन एनी एनी अदर एनी अदर से मानन को प्रॉपर पिला पेरेंट्स इंट्रेस्टन जो डा पिला मानन को मिलु छि कि नहीं सेईटा प्रति भी नजर दबा उचित खाली खाद्य खाइ देले हो से मानन को न्यूट्रिशन उचित से मानन को उचित परिमाण रे न्यूट्रिशन टा मिलु छि कि नहीं सेथि प्रति ध्यान दबा उचित यस यस so regarding the nutritional food that should be think about okay then any any other yes semanango problem ko kene define kariba problem ro solution kene mane bahar kariba okay so dear learners in addition to your opinion i should add something one thing is immunization it is very important immunization is very important they have to be trained up they have to aware regarding immunization so what is the different steps stages age of immunization so that must be very important so another is breast feeding now in this modern era all are neglecting this so it is very important sir immunization so they have to be sir so you have to take care of your children mila tikka bibhinna tikka jo da jao ji pila ko even boys re immunization one is immunization another is breast feeding another is supplementary feeding supplementary feeding supplementary feeding suppose now told that balance food is there is no nutritional food so what supplementary food we have to add suppose mother is not able to feed the child then supplementary food the, the balanced diet the nutritional supplementary food must be provided okay then growth monitoring growth monitoring stage to stage month to month year to year the child grows and the growth should be monitored height weight and other um, time skin or internal um, aspects so everything should be checked up by doctor pedic uh, pediatric doctor and you have to be careful that so that that should be make them aware so prevention and man management prevention prevention is better than cure prevention means always suppose uh, one is suffering from cold and cough so you should not take the child to them so they have to live be away of the child so therefore the child cannot be suffering from cold and cough the prevention is very important so other them the uh, covid 19 was there so different types of virals are there during the viral fever during the jo amra bibhinna rog aachi akhi dhara aasuchi other skin disease so all are 
should be taken care of and they should be aware they should be make concerns give training not to do and to what to do they during the different disease the management management means all the activities should be managed properly how to manage how to handle so mother should be trained up and as well as the caregiver must be trained up now tell me who are the chief persons with whom the child spends the first 3 years at home yes pila pratham 3 varsha ka se to besham kate father's parents grandparents parents parents so mother is very important as you know mother is the messenger yes mother mother father parents father may be in a, uh, outside of the home but mother is always there so first three years child must be spent with the mother okay from different research studies the findings we obtained what the intelligence personality and social behavior develop rapidly in early childhood that i told you therefore nep 2020 gave focus on ecc program first 6 years of life is very important and ecc helps in healthy cognitive affective and psychomotor development so there are three domains you know one is the cognitive domain which is related to your mind or brain of the child and the affective domain which is related to the heart of the child the feelings the emotions these are the affective side and the psychomotor means running jumping dancing um, these are the function of uh, organs of the body uh, different types of things we have to lift the child have to lift and throw so these are known as psychological uh, psychomotor functioning so to develop in all these areas the intelligence plays the vital role and the physical exercise also plays the vital role and the freedom of the child is also plays the vital role so accordingly we should take care of the children how to develop all these aspects properly and which can be helpful the child to grow smoothly and in the right way what is the duty of ecc what is the duty of ecc sorry cent sorry ucc center what is the duty of the ecc center early childhood care and education center or that is known as anganwadi balwadi what is the duty of the workers of this center who can say villar janma hobar purtar janmar par parjanta si 6 barsh parjanta pila manakar care dipari neba sathe prati loko manaku sachetanata karaiba um ma manankar pregnancy time re 6 barsh tak okay very good taking care of the children and टीकाकरण सुषम खाद्य now listen first the ecc should find out the needy children and the children who are out of the center anganwadi center or early childhood care center ecc center okay 3 to 6 year children should be detected and enrolled center should be open for all there is no restriction there is no that the government school and the anganwadi center or balwadi or any ecc center run by government is equal there is no difference so it is open to all level of children provisions of suitable and sufficient materials so in every of anganwadi center suitable and sufficient materials the appropriate materials like play equipments and all other 
materials for learning that should be available it is very important all facilities should be available for the workers therefore the workers can taking care of the children who are attending anganwadi centers or ecc centers properly so attention should be given on the activities of the children activities means play way activities their self participation how they are learning how they are um, sharing their opinions and their tiffins or everything even between their friends that must be observed they should be counsel they should be taken care of they should not give in any type of physical or mental punishment it is very important for the workers of the ecc centers so they have to involve in parents how to take care of the children means at home most of the time the child spend with the parents so parents training is very important and time to time every weekly or fortnightly or monthly we should call the parents meeting especially the mother should be well trained well aware how to take care of the children at home it is very important this is then another is ecc program should be organized in a holistic nature practical activities should be undertaken logical and implementable works should be undertaken effectively on the basis of specific objectives so if there is no objective there is no result so objective must be for fixed and as for that objective different activities should be organized how we will organize the activities in the flexible manner and it should be child centered also child centered means what who can say what is child centered anybody what is child centered yes anganwadi child center child center no 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 child center means always give the importance to the activities and interest of the child we should not impose to do this what the child wants that is important suppose the child is want to play now we should not give him to calculate the mathematics if the child is want to watch television or play with the friends then allow them to play their friends and when they are playing with the friends you should give uh, give certain conditions or certain you you, you arrange certain activities whereas with the playing with the friends they can learn something it is your duty so the child cannot know you are uh, forcing them to learn mathematics or science or social science etc they will play during the playing they say they can learn something so it is your arrangement it is your activity your your duty as a caretaker as the ecc center worker in the ecc center as a teacher so it is it is your duty okay so child centered approach should be followed and everything should be undertaken organized in the flexible manner okay then another is some ecc programs outside india now we are discussing some ecc programs outside india nepal you know can you say where is nepal nepal is in india or outside india yes Uh, outside India. Outside India. Whether Nepal is our neighboring country? Whether Nepal is our neighboring country? Yes, sir. Yes, Nepal is our neighboring country. So now think about Nepal. In Nepal, there is a project that is known as Nepal's Project Entry Point. So there is the project. very low cost very low cost programs are undertaken there low cost means what the expenditure is very low the expenditure is very low so low cost program is there and that program is meant for the rural poor people rural poor families especially the women women should give in training on economic activities and how to take care of their children two things are there economic activities means to earn something for the family and how to take care of the children is another important thing 
and under this project the rural women the rural poor women we are taking training with this project in nepal similarly peru is another peru's program of initial education thailand's integrated nutrition and community development programs are there so in these countries different programs are undertaken organizing why not to taking care of the children how to manage the children how to give them the nourishment this is very important so this is all about unity 1 unity 2 is about some theoretical orientation in early childhood education some theoretical orientation means what some theories developed by the educationist different eminent educationist not only in india but also out of india in different countries how the educationist gone through different experiments running different educational institutions for the preschool children what methods what activities what they were organized and how they got the result and that has become the theory now we are learning and you can use in our day to day life how to take care of our children in the ecc centers so this is the objective so first of all we will discuss about johan amos comenas johan amen comenas is a is, is an individual jane education is jane byakti ho chanti johan amos comenas he was born in 1592 and died in 1670 Comenis Comenus was born in Moravia province of Czechoslovakia you know Czechoslovakia is a country the province of in the province of Czechoslovakia there is a place that is Moravia in Moravia Comenus born in the year 1592 he was he was he was an educationist okay so he advocated that punishment is necessary but it is not necessary during school work punishment is necessary according to him punishment somehow not every time sometime punishment is necessary for the children to give them lesson or right education but not during school activities not during school work the students should not be given punishment if they will give in punishment for school activities and school work what will happen their activity will be squeezed their mind will be locked so in fear of a punishment they cannot express they cannot participate so this is very important so dear learners this is the john amos comments statement or study he was a schoolmaster in poland he wrote the book like the great dietic it is a very interesting book and this book reflected about aims of education the curriculum textbooks and methods of teaching these were the body a subject matter of the book the great dietic his principle of education was that nature of the children should be given importance so what is the born nature of the child that should be taken into consideration as for the burning nature of the child we should give education we should give training we should take care of them it is very important another is learn through senses so every we know we have sense organs sense power how many sense organs are there yes five five sense organs five sense organs are there suppose there is a light and the baby toss the light and got pain then after the child can toss the light again yes if there is a child light or fire the child will touch it and got a pain then again 
the child can go to such type of place and touch the fire yes no sir no sir so this is learning here he told learn through senses jodi pilate niya ko divi jaluchi lanthan jaluchi barambar ame atke le pila paluchi chhui do ko jao thar chhui do seti bastibo eto chhui ki jali jaun puri jaun tum seti dibo jao tikke touch karu tikke touch kal to photka hai jibo kashto paibo ke ki nahi ki asila au never will go to there if you will prohibit the child from that place the child can toss the light in your absence and that can cause a great suffering for the child okay but in your presence if the child toss the fire and get a pain never the child will go such type of fire again in your presence or in your absence so this is important senses suppose other sense organs are there so never you neglect the education of the child through using sense organs so it is important and according to johan so the child should be allowed to learn through sense then adapt teaching materials while we are guiding the students while we are organizing any learning activity for the learners what should we do we should use teaching materials different types of teaching learning materials because without teaching material it is difficult for toss the child for the clarity of the children for the understanding of the children so if you only speak and only show the action that may not toss the child's heart mind but if we will use the materials teaching materials the child is it is easy for the child to learn to understand okay it is very important then another is individual difference we know every child is different from each other even if twin brothers and sisters are not same they are also different so that principle must be followed up motivate and stimulate the children always our duty is being the teacher our duty is to motivate our students to create interest in the mind of our learners and to stimulate them every moment we have to stimulate them encourage them create interest in between them therefore they can participate they can share their opinions their views now you are not sharing your opinions and views how can you taking care of your students so dear learners so interest is very important inspiration is very important stimulation is very important so unless and until you stimulate your children they cannot come to focus they cannot share their views and opinions before others so how can you develop them you have to develop them through stimulating and motivating your learners school work should related to life so in the center ecc center when you become the teacher so all the children what they will do that should be related to their life so life related education is essential without life related education we never help our learners for conceptual clarity in their concept they cannot understand they cannot digest they cannot correlate they cannot compare they cannot find out the similarities and they cannot differentiate different facts and education so what should we do now the all the school work and activities should be related to the life of the child life related it is very important so these are the different principle of johan amos comenos as the educationist who advocated for pre primary education and how to take care of the tender aged children to build up their career and to make them the the best and suitable citizen of the country 
Then another educationist is known as Jean Jacques Rousseau. So very commonly well known as Rousseau. Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Rousseau, these are the different philosophers. And Rousseau was not only the political philosopher, but also an educationist, educational philosopher. And he was born in Switzerland, Swiss. He was a Swiss citizen. And he, he focused on modernization of educational thoughts and practice. Modernization of educational thoughts and practice was his focus area. You write it. You note it. You note this sentence. Rousseau gave focus on modernization of educational thoughts and practice. Modernization of educational thoughts and practice. Educational thoughts and educational practice. Thoughts, the principles we learned from book given by eminent educationist or psychologist or any physician. But practice, as per the provision or principle, what we are doing in practical, that is practice. So thought and practice, educational thoughts and practice is the very important weapon of Rousseau. He was a naturalist. Rousseau was a naturalist. Can you say why Rousseau was a naturalist? Why Rousseau was a naturalist? I am telling Rousseau was a naturalist. Can you say? Yes? Anybody? The nature. The nature go use for the nature up for study for the nature point of view how study go study go to Okay, very good. So you may write a sentence, just I am telling. Natural growth of a children, note it everybody, write this sentence. Natural growth of a children in natural environment. Natural growth of a children in natural environment. Natural growth of a children in a natural environment. So what does me this mean? What does this sentence mean? This sentence means the child should learn, child should grow. Where? In the nature, where the child lives. In the nature, where the child lives. Rabindranath Tagore and Rousseau, both were naturalists. So they loved nature and they believed the real education is the undertaken, is given to the child in the nature, in his or her surrounding. Okay? So here Rousseau opined natural growth of children in, in natural environment. His slogan was, write this sentence you must have to write. Rousseau's slogan was, return to nature. What was his slogan? Who can say what was the slogan of slogan of Rousseau? Yes. Return to nature. Very good. Return to nature. What does it mean? Return to nature means what? Return <coughs> mm, to nature. Ah, Practical good area, sir. Practical go feria, sir. Good. How can you go? Yes, yes. Anybody? Yes. So, one thing is now everybody is dreaming to fly over the sky. Yes or no? You are dreaming, I am dreaming, everyone is dreaming to fly over the sky. We are not looking to our foot, but we are looking to moon and the sun. So now we, means we the Indians, now we are in moon, but we do not learn, do not understand how to live peacefully, how to live comfortably in this world. 
बट वी आर फ्लाइंग एंड टचिंग दि मुन आम मुन पहुंची गले एंड ट्राइंग टू रिच एट सन एंड ट्राइंग टू रिच एट अदर प्लानेट सो दिस इज रिटर्न टू नेचर नेचर मीन्स वेर यू आर इन योर सराउंडिंग इन योर एनवायरमेंट यू हैव टू लीव एंड देर इज प्लेटी ऑफ स्कोप एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लर्न टू बुक्स वेर एमिनेंट बुक्स ऑफ रुसो एनीबडी कैन यू से व्हाट वे आर द बुक्स ऑफ रुसो आई वु रेड इट अरे रुसंगर जोड़े बही से लिखी थे वेरी इंपोर्टाट के बही लिखी है जोड़े हूँ इंपोर्टाट बुक्स हुई रिलेटेड टू एजुकेशनाल फिलोसफी कैन यू से ह्वाट ह्वाट आर दोज ओके ना यू मे रईट इट एम इल इ एम आई एल इ वन बुक इज एम इल इ एम आई एल इ वन बुक इज एम इल अनादर बुक इज सोशियाल कंट्राक्ट अनादर बुक इज सोशियाल contract so these two books are related to educational philosophy these two books means the book emily and the book social contracts both are reflected educational philosophy of parisho what was his educational philosophy that has been reflected in his books like emily and social contracts according to rousseau play is very important for the learners what is important for the learners play so play for learning so according to him makes game in education and education as a game so every concept can be cleared up by the child through game through play so make suppose you are teaching mathematics make mathematics game and automatically the child will play the game and learn the mathematical skill knowledge gain the mathematical knowledge similarly when you teach history then you make it a game so game is very important use objects pictures and illustrations this is very important objects objects means materials different types of materials charts maps globes these are the objects pictures you know pictures illustrations means examples the lively examples real examples the level of the child the child knows the example that example must have been reused to while you are transacting you are organizing teaching learning activities so that the child can easily understand always child should become free to act always the child should become free no restriction is there the child lives freely and works freely and the child can do all the activities freely independently no restriction should be given so that is important another is development and discipline focus is on development and discipline another very important word is you do note it this term let children be children let children be children not don't do this sentence lekha ebakya ti let children be children who can explain the meaning of this term let children be children ar artha ki koi paribo anybody gote pila ko bujheba pai hele age nije gote choto pila hi ke ta bujheba okay anybody any other let children be children yes let children be children सिंपल वे रे पिला मु सिखेबा ओके 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 सो 
you see always let the children to live like the children means allow the children to live like the children but with the parents with the teachers are restricting why you are showing this this type of behavior why you are talking like this because child is always child russo says child is always child it is the general nature of the child to behave like a child and allow them to become child then they will learn then they will smart then the mental ability will improve so another education is to our john henrich pestalozzi we know pestalozzi the educationist who born in the year 1746 and died in the year 1827 he was born in zurich of switzerland switzerland is a country you know in switzerland there is a place zurich in that zurich place he was born in the year 1746 he founded two organizations one is orphanage another is a school from those orphanage and school when he experimented after his experimentation he learned and gave focus the harmonious development of the children when we can say there is harmonious development of the children if there is moral development if there is intellectual development and if there is physical development you may note it moral intellectual and physical development can you say moral development relates to what intellectual development relates to what and physical development relates to what as per the definition of gandhi ji gandhi ko definition ko anujayi e jo moral intellectual physical ka sahit correlate ho koi paribo kehi na kehi koi paribo na yes nobody can morulla thinking listen okay listen you may note it gandhi ji gave importance on body mind and spirit body this is physical mind intellectual spirit moral spiritual moral so the proven pestalozzi also gave stress on to improve the children's physical mental and spiritual values this is in addition to this another is education should be according to him education should be child centered that i told you child's interest is very important child should be allowed give freedom to learn to do certain activities and appropriate method should be used appropriate method the suitable method because same method is not suitable for all the students remember it same method is not suitable for all the students suppose i will follow direct method to teach english for number of students that may not be suitable for other students so grammar translation method may be suitable for those students some sub students are there bilingual method may be useful some others may be other method may be useful so that appropriate method should be followed and role of mother is very important during preschool period mother is the first child most of the time the child spends with the mother so that mother must be plays important role importance should be given on games and importance should be given on using different types of objectives objects tlms materials while constructing the knowledge in the mind of the 
students. It is very important. Similarly, another educationist was Friedrich William August Froebel. Like pestology, Froebel is also a born in Persia and he was a Persian educationist born in the year 1782 and died in 1852. He studied the book of pestology, the book which was meant for education. Probel studied the book of pestology and from that book he learned the play gift and play songs. So what is the importance of songs and gifts? And how the songs and gifts are useful while we are taking care of the children, while we are educating our learners or students. That he understood from the book of pestology. Probel wrote number of books related to education, like the education of a man, pedagogies of a kindergarten, then education by development, mother play and a nursery. He was the founder of the kindergarten system of education. Who was the founder? Provel was the founder of kindergarten system of education. Provel founded the system of education that is kindergarten. What is the meaning of kindergarten? Kindergarten means self-activity of the mind is the self-activity of a mind that is known as kindergarten. In kindergarten school, all the activities are Doing, uh, doing by the children are self-activities so that they can learn. When you can do something, suppose there is a project work. You are going to be um, conduct the research and write a project report in this uh, four paper is about it. Yes or no? Jana achita project achuli. Na jana nai. The project is a project that 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 is ना नहीं द्वितीय नंबर देले भाई बाप फेस के लिए उत्तर ठीक रहता हो वो पत्थर नंबर पत्थर नंबर नीचे गोले सर वाह ना देर इज सेल्फ एक्टिविटी यू डीड दी एक्टिविटी यू डीड दी प्रोग्राम यू आ पार्टिसिपेट यू एन्जॉय यू ऑब्जर्व एवरीथिंग सो दैट यू गोट द प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज देयरफॉर यू कैन आंसर द Expert will ask during Viva. The project report summit is going to be done. Okay. Who has conducted the project report properly? Mu Viva ne la bolle dekhi chhi jani chhi. Fir bhiga to dinner re party khole ni ham udia pilang karo. Kino se Bihar Bihar wo asanti kichhi pila hai course kori kiri. So mane very fluently they are doing. Therefore they can answer very very fluently. They could be able to answer. But our ODI students, they could not unable to do answer all the questions. Even if you answer a one question or say the two questions, and our, no others are answering a single question also. So think what you have to do. That kindergarten education told self activity, self involvement. That is important for learning. Another is, Frobel also told, nature and need of children is very important. So as a teacher, you should understand what is the nature of the child, what is the need of the child, and develop the creativity of the child. How the child develops his or her creativity? When? Think. When? Participate. When? Act. When do, freely do, then create certain new idea. And that creation of new idea is known as creativity. 
so under creativity he used another gift the word gift gift is free play means modeling drawing sewing coloring these are the variety of activities we allowed our students to undertake to do while we are our play, play school students what are they doing coloring the picture painting they are playing they are talking with their friends participating very small size of games in games so these are very important this is the this is all about kindergarten education another is maria montessori maria montessori you know it is very eminent educationist of world who born in italy maria montessori was born in italy first of all she was a medical student when he was a she was a medical student during that time she took interest to work with mental retardation children mental retardation children do you know what is mental retardation can you say what is mental retardation yes what is mental retardation anupriya ko मानसिकलीस mentally very weak they cannot think they cannot take decision they cannot do as per the normal children do as the normal children do so when she was a medical student she took interest to work with the mental retardation children accordingly she was founded a institution for mental retardation children and taking care of them and she also developed a number of teaching learning materials when those teaching materials were useful for the mental retarded children she thought why these material are not useful in the general learners general students and then he used and got success and he used new methods and teaching also and while she was working with the slum children of slum area then also she used his her math materials and teaching methods and got success that method is known as montessori method the method maria montessori used for learn teaching the uh, mental retarded children and the children in slum area that method was very effective for developing the learners at, at, at achievement and that method is also known as montessori method Maria Montessori wrote number of books out of those or important books are Discover of the Children Education for a New World The Secret of Childhood Child Training these are some important books of Maria Montessori and in these books she has very technically very wonderfully reflected the basic thoughts and his feelings how to take care of the children in ecc centers he she was against material reward and punishment material reward and punishment you know punishment you know mental or physical punishment she was against it so never punish your child either mental or physical material reward suppose some teachers and some parents are offering chocolate or any type of a kind while giving any task so it will make them happy when you cannot offer any reward they cannot do 
So therefore, she was against material rewards and punishment. Material, according to her, material rewards are unnatural incentives. We never say it is natural incentive. It is unnatural incentive. Every child is unique. She told every child is unique. And rate of progress is also different. So we know it. Every child cannot grow equally. So rate of growth, rate of development is different. And every child is unique. Every speciality, some sort of speciality is with every child. And she also opined first six years of the child is important in the life of the child. And she opened a school, the name of the school was Child's House. She named the school was Child's House. And that school was very opened by and Maria Montessori borrowed the idea of educational system from Frobel and Seguin. Two other eminent educationists were Seguin and Frobel, whose contribution was a lot for the development of Maria Montessori. She always gave emphasis on discovery and child-centered approach. And always Maria Montessori used the directress, not a teacher. She never used the word teacher. Always she used the word direct, directress, directress. Why? Directress means to let you grow. To let you grow. Directress means one, give the assistance to grow. Therefore, she used always the directress, the word instead of teacher. Another eminent educationist was Rabindranath Tagore, who is an Indian. And he was always known by others, Gurudev. Gurudev means Ravindar Tagore was a poet who won Nobel Prize for Gitanjali. He was a very good artist, educationist, social reformer as well as religious reformer. Like Rousseau, Ravindar Tagore was the naturalist and according to him, Immediate and direct contact with nature helps the learner to learn. So a learner must be immediately come to the close contact of the nature. Sit in the nature, think in the nature, learn in the nature. He started a Bengali school where not Bolpur of West Bengal in the year 1901. That Bengali school later on known as Santiniketan. Today, who can say what is the name of Santiniketan? Anybody? Who can say what is the name of Santiniketan today? Yes? Anybody? Can you to say what is the name of Santiniketan today? Right, note it, Vishwabharati University, Central University. Now, the Bengali medium school, a Bengali school started in the year 1901 by Ravindranath Tagore, became Central University, that is Vishwabharati. Remember it. He wrote the books like Sikhara, Herfar, the parrots training, Sikha, Samasya, these are the different books related to education. Always he gave focus on learning for the child through explorative, active and full of joy. In the nature, one can learn. Today, today in that university, the system is the learners cannot learn inside the room. They learn sitting under the tree in the nature. His curriculum was activity centered, not subject centered. Always he gave focus on activity centered curriculum. Believed on activities, not subjects. Education through play and activity could help the child for his all-round development or her all-round development. 
freedom for self expression is very important and he adopted three methods like peripatetic method which is association between body and mind activity method learning through environment is another method like him our father of nation mohandas karamchand gandhi ba mahatma gandhi he was also a politician social reformer and a very good educationist whose concept was basic education and according to him education should based on the indian culture he wrote different books and pre basic education was given up to 7 years was his statement he was given emphasis on craft children's activity and playful creativity areas so he was also a very good educationist and thought about the children's education another educationist tara bhai modak tara bhai modak was the principal of a training college in at rajkot in gujarat in the year 1892 she was born and died in the year 1973 he came to the close contact of giju bhai badeka giju bhai badeka was also a gujarati and he ran pre school in gujarat after close contact of which giju bhai tara bhai madaka resigned from his her principal seat and worked for the pre school education program with giju bhai and she also followed all the eminent educationist path and opined how to develop the pre school education to our children this is all about unit 2 another one unit is unit 3 that is organizations for children you know number of private organizations are working for the children as well as government organizations are working one very important government central government organization is ncert national council of educational research and training ncert frequently prepares teaching learning material for early childhood care education its syllabus and different training programs also organized by ncert through ncert and different diets another national organization government organization is national institute of public cooperation and child development this organization assists the development Depart department of women and child development to government of india it has three regional offices bangalore in guwahati and lucknow and in addition to all these central government institutions icds is also another organization working in every state government icds means integrated child development service cdpo is the head of this organization national children's board ncb was established in 1974 and prime minister of our country is the head of this organization this is an government of organization of central government central social welfare board is there the central social welfare board takes the activities like rural poor women balwadi nutrition program condens courses for education of adult women crates for children as well as holistic a uh, sorry hostels for working women and mohila mandal these are the different activities of central social welfare board in addition to these certain voluntary organizations are also working voluntary organizations are working what are they out, out of those one is national voluntary organizations like indian council for child welfare indian council for child welfare was established in the year 1952 this organization runs the programs for the benefit of children from the weaker section of the society the children of weaker section of the society how they can get education that is the main focus area of this indian council for child welfare organization this organization 
conducts different types of programs like Anganwadi workers training program. So Anganwadi workers, you know, it conducts its training programs. Balsa Balsabika training programs. Then another is enrichment program for trainers. Trainers means who are giving training to the Anganwadi workers or other Balsabikas. Those trainers should be trained by this organization. And Kretch workers training program, Balwadi nutrition program, Kretch program, early childhood education program. These are the different programs which are to be organized by Indian Council for Child Welfare Organization. It is a private organization or NGO. Another private organization is Mobile Kretches. So under Mobile Kretches, it provides daycare facilities for looking after the health nutritional, educational, and recreational needs of children of constructing laborers. So the labor, labor center locomani is the Kama Kariaguna Mama and Polanti. Tanka Daito Kienova. Tanka Daito Noape. Gomet in India Taru. Or Tho. Praptohi mobile creates put an organization Kama Kore. Ebo that organization taking care of the health, nutrition, education, and recreational needs of the children whose mothers are working lady. They are going to the work to the field or any other organizations. Three types of service are provided for children in different age groups like crates for children below three years of age. Balwari for children age three to six years. Non-formal education for 6 to 12 year old children. So these are three types of creatures or centers are functioning under mobile creatures. Another is SOS Children's Village of India. So SOS Children's Village of India is an organization which provides a home to children who have lost their parents and are homeless for the region. So our parents are parent lost children to taking care of those children sos children's village of india organization is functioning okay dr harman gomerin who was 40 years age in australia first thought of this idea and started this type of organization taking care of the orphan children another is bal sahyog another organization this institution Taking care of the prevention and cure of juveline maladjusted children, juveline um, and delinquency in the community. So, जो पिलावड़ा बाला उपराध कर दिए होंगे, सही पिलावान को दायित्व ये organisation नहीं था। Similarly, another organisation is भारतीय भारतीय आदमी आदमी जाति सेवा सेवक संघ Bharatiya Admi Jati Sevak Sang. So, Bharatiya Admi Jati Sevak Sang covers a wide range of activities in the educational, economic, socio-cultural and medical, medi medical spheres, means aspects. Sikha, Ortho, Samajika, Ebo, Swastya Khetra Reonek Kama Karuchi, Bharatiya Admi Jati Sevak Sang. Harijan Sevak Sang is another organization. The main objective of this organization is to educate and propagate among the Hindus the complete removal of untouchability. It functions against untouchability. So, Aspurishata Jo Achi Taku Ame Jimti Touch Karibar. Then another is Indian Red Cross Society. Indian Red Cross Society also runs mobile medical units, dispensaries, uh, maternity hospitals, TB hospitals, diet training centers hospitals for the disabled. So these are the different activities of Indian Red Cross Society. Another is Asarya. Asarya, sorry, Asarya. Asarya is another organization which is uh, working for the children of homes where those parents, children's home run by Asarya providers. Means the uh, Sometimes the children are running out of the home. Some children are lost the home. Those are be taken care of by the Asrayo. 
child in need institutes is another organization so the balkani ji bari beruwa for child welfare and research and children's book trust kasturba gandhi national memorial trust so these are the different types of ngos or non government organizations which are working for the development of the preschool children certain innovative projects in the different states are working are those one is vikas why was both children ame janiche ame jodi ebe bhi ame konsi am anchal re kichhi loko achanti जो बापा माँ समस्त कम करती बापमा आम को पलैले बड़ झीव बा पुओं सान झीव पु को दायित्व जत्न निये फल स्कूल को जापे इन दिज के दिज विकाशवाड़ी कोशाब हिल्स प्रोग्राम अर्गानाइजेस प्रोजेक्ट वाक्स फर टेकिंग केयर अफ बोर्ड दि चिलड्रेन जे दायित्व नौ सान भाई भी प्लस सान भाई भी उभय दायित्व से नहीं था ये अर्गानाइजेस प्रोजेक्ट रुचिका प्रोजेक्ट अल्सो इज अनादर रुचिका स्कूल सोसाइटी फाउंडेड इन 1985 एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट्स आर सो वर्क फॉर व्हाट गिवन सप्लीमेंटरी न्यूट्रिशन टू द चिल्ड्रन दिस प्रोजेक्ट गिवन सप्लीमेंटरी न्यूट्रिशन अनादर इंटरनेशनल वॉलंटियर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होची सेव द चिल्ड्रन फंड इट इज कंसर्नड विथ लॉन्ग टर्म वेलफेयर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन इन हंगर सिकनेस एंड नीड दीर्घ दिन धर की पिला मान कर सहित ये अदुतन रहित है Another international projects are development of services, working with the communities, then emergency relief, training, sponsorship. These are the number of projects are working under the organization by NGOs in under international voluntary organizations. Similarly, other activities, other organizations are cooperative for American relief labor who are American relief labor who are. catholic relief service these are the international organizations who are also working for the development of the children united nations organization un also established certain organization one is very important is unicef unicef is united nations international children's emergency fund unicef also giving financial assistance to every state and countries to taking care of the children in different aspects it helps to saving their children from hunger helps in starting day care centers community clubs mothers clubs for training family and child welfare workers and also this office unicef the headquarter of unicef office located in new york in our country the head of head of cg in new delhi in addition to that the uh, field officers are located at bombay that is mumbai kolkata chandigarh hyderabad lucknow madras and new delhi another world food program is also implementing by uno this is established jointly by the union nations and the food and agriculture organization 1963 the basic objective of this program is to provide food to the needy in the developing countries developing countries india is a developing country like india other developing countries are there so all in in all other developing countries these are providing the food uh, supplements another is world health organization you know very well world health organization that is who how who helped us to the world during covid 19 pandemic so it protects who protects and promote health among all the people of the world so who is governed by the world health assembly constituted in the delegates from 15 member nations sorry 150 member nations the south east asian office of who is in new delhi in our country so these are the different organizations who are working for the children and health care of the children in international level so this is all about we discuss unit 1 Unit three, unit two, unit three of block one. So this is all about our classes of today, about B, C, three and block one. Okay. Now it is your time.
if anybody has any doubt if anybody has any doubt 